previously on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I can't believe Firelock is playing a show at the old mill. I'm gonna teach this little punk some manners. Hey, dickhead! Get the fuck out of here! Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. Hello, Black Owl. Chloe, do something! Hey, do you know if Rachel is a gamer? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Damn, they are really going at it. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? That was my dad. <laughs> and that woman was definitely not my mom. Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My, my shift ran late at the diner and then... Just... sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. was violated... Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, what? Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was broken. Do you recall what that was? Uh, don't get in trouble again? Trouble is merely the byproduct, Miss Price. What's at issue is your attitude. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did? In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Witnesses saying you were involved in bullying Nathan Prescott. The hell I was. I stood up for that little weirdo. I suppose that's one interpretation of events. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. Principal Wells, I know this looks bad. Thank you for your validation, Miss Price. May I continue? With your permission? Sorry. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means... You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I made her do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. 
I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. See, Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me. But only to keep me safe. I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe. That you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Chloe, is this true? It's true. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. Miss Price? Fine, yes. It was her idea, but it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Miss Amber, based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. Ray! Just to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you or... Trick her? Yes, I'm sure. Oh, thank God. Mrs. Price, this revelation may color the situation some, but it in no way absolves your daughter. I understand, Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Miss Amber, I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. No. What? Are you insane? Your discipline is still pending, Miss Price. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, don't Mr. You Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Victoria Chase. Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. That is what such... What was that, Miss Price? <sighs> Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next, unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. No. Nothing to add. I'm glad. Though Chloe may not have been the mastermind of yesterday's events, it was, as I prefaced, the proverbial last straw. In light of your many past transgressions, I have no choice but to suspend you for the rest of the year. But it was the other girl's idea. She confessed. And she will be punished accordingly but that does not absolve Chloe of her responsibility. I am truly sorry it has come to this, but Chloe will have the chance for reinstatement in the fall. Her actions beginning now will be weighed heavily in that decision. Do you understand me, both of you? Yeah, I mean, as much as I ever do. Chloe? We understand, Mr. Wells. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. Oh, 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price? I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Mom, I'm... I'll see you in the parking lot. Hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me, eh, Skip? Fuck em. Bunch of fascists. Hey, uh... Just wanted to say... It sucks what is happening to you. Thanks, Skip. You're gonna be missed. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. Dad got Bongo from the rescue shelter. Then he got run over by a car. Moral of the story, no one's ever really rescued. I had big plans for adding to this collage. Oh well. Maybe chem was the class I hated the least. Hmm, if Chloe leaves Blackwell at 11 a.m., going 100 miles per... I should write a poem to mark the occasion. Something with... <laughs> imagery. Absolutely. Positively the best concert of 2008. Too bad it's time to go. Finally, what I actually came here for. Wonder who will grace this space after me. Trusty keeper of my graffiti pens. You've served me well. Love how every time someone tells me how much potential I have, it's right before saying how I'm wasting it all. Having Justin as my locker neighbor was one of the few not shitty things about this place. Jackpot. Wait, what the hell? Damn it, Justin. Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling.
but with Skip watching me. Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you? Later, Skip. Later. Looks like David's here. Awesome. Drugs are free here. <laughs> Man, why didn't anyone tell me before? Max would have loved this shit. I guess this fire is no joke. Still can't believe Rachel started it. Maybe they'll use my scholarship money to finally fix this pothole. A 
Elliot and I have gone to school together since we were in kindergarten until today. Hey, Elliot. What brings Chloe Price to school on a Saturday morning? Nothing good, I bet. I uh, was suspended. Wait, really? Holy shit. I know. I'm surprised it took this long, too. Do you want a hug? Uh, okay. Thanks. Yeah, it sucks for Rachel, too. She was kicked out of the play because of me. She'll live. Harsh, man. Anyway, what are you doing here? I thought I should come early to grab tickets. For the Tempest? You said we might see it together. Oh, right. Good call. Did you get my text about hanging out afterwards? Yeah. I mean, I'm not really big on making plans, but maybe. Cool, cool. Uh, sounds, sounds good. I better go. Uh, my mom is waiting to sick her attack mustache on me. Her boyfriend. Uh, don't worry about it. See you around, Elliot. Yeah. Later. My other vehicle is drama. <laughs> Piss head much? That has to be Skip's car. At least I'll have a... Uh, Plenty of free time to take up skateboarding again, if I feel like it. It's about damn time. David, please. Mom is clearly fighting to hide her disappointment, which, of course, just makes this worse. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. I don't care. I know. That's what we need to talk about. I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. If my mother has something to say, she will say it to me. She has. The problem is, you don't listen. Maybe if you try listening to me, Instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? Like how to have no job? Or how to be a soldier? Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. You had a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? Someone needed my help. Who? Your friend Rachel? Because I think the daughter of the DA is going to be just fine. I need your help. Me, your mother. We need to get our own house in order. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I care about Joyce very much. I'm willing to forgive you for the incident yesterday. If you improve your attitude going forward. Incident? What incident? Chloe was incredibly out of line. She insulted me. Swore at me. But... With an apology, I'm willing to start over. Mm. 
Are you still going to date my mom? Of course. And will you still be coming to our house? I... plan to. Then I say, go fuck yourself. That's what I thought. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. Mom. Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. What the fuck? If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom, you can't be serious. David and I have discussed it, and we feel this is the only way for us all to have a fresh start. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. Fine. You want to see my shit so badly? You know what sucks even worse than invading someone's privacy? Doing it for no reason. You're awfully smug for someone who just got kicked out of school. Chloe, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? Sure. As long as you promise to never speak to this asshole again. Chloe! Joyce, you can't start apologizing now. This will only encourage her. That's enough out of you, David. We need to start treating each other better. And that means all of us. We need a new beginning. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. W what does that mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. No fucking way! Chloe, after everything that's happened, uh, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. Mom, I... I, I know I fucked up. I, I'm a fuck up. I'm sorry. Are you sorry? You don't even know what you're apologizing for. I've been shutting you out even though I've needed you, and you need me, and I know that. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. There is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over.
How do you know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Ugh. This thing is a mess, but maybe I can fix it. If this beast will ever run again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. Wonder if I can find one around here. Guess I was pretty pissed at Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. I wonder if I'll ever ride one of these again. You're a long way from the beach. Don't tell me what to do. I always wanted a pet snake. Instead, I got David. Fuck everything. Here's a side of Arcadia Bay they don't put on the postcards. What are you trying to hide under their hood? In official car speak, 
This is the thing that makes the other things do their things. Here we go, the pick of the litter. Wow, <laughs> shitty ride drug dealer. I really thought crime paid better. Um, this thing needs more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. Probably a good idea to cover over this with something. While an escape hatch could be nice, I should probably cover over this massive hole. Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. Okay, let's see what else this trash heap has to offer. You might not work. Then again, I hardly ever work. I used to love opening up the diner with mom before school. I guess those days are now officially over.
Time to truck on back to the truck. Leave no trash box unopened. That's my motto. No, not going over there. You can hang here. But I get to pick the tunes, okay? Good talk. This could cover that torn seat and look awesome doing it. It's all fun and games till this guy enslaves every. A pirate flag? Wonder if there's treasure buried nearby. <laughs> fire that doesn't need any poking. Pretty sure this isn't what Rachel meant when she talked about going to LA to be a model. Then again, it's probably not what this person meant either. Now this is a vortex club I wouldn't mind joining. You're a long way from the country club, guy. Four. Or something. This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. Probably drives like one too. That's if it ever does drive. 
which seems questionable. Still, how sweet would that be? Yeah? Frank, it's Frank. Oh. Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No. Listen, we've got some business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about... Oh, like... drugs? Christ. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. The junkyard, that's great. Stay there, I'll see you soon. Okay. And, Frank? I'm not in trouble or anything, right? I don't know. Did you do anything you should be in trouble for? <laughs> like, in general? Or to you? I'll see you soon. Time for a hard-earned smoke break. The inaugural truck tag. You only get one chance to make a first expression. The eye sees all. Does your truck look like an aquarium on wheels? <laughs> Didn't think so. Does Principal Wells eat pizza with a fork and knife? I knew there was something off about that guy. What do we have here? Most people probably wouldn't wear a beanie they found in a junkyard. Sucks for most people. Yep. This'll do. Fixing the truck was hard work. Time to kick back and light up when I'm done looking around. And we're walking 
Shit. I slept all day. Wh what the hell? Dad? Do I feel like roasting a marshmallow? I wonder if it burned like this the day, the day it happened. I miss him so much. Dad, what are we doing here? Are you trying to tell me something? Dad? Dad? I miss him. So much. Amazing, isn't it? I can't look away. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized, too. See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us just like darkness but darkness blinds with absence with loss what does fire blind with beauty but sometimes there's a greater beauty yet to come Incredible. Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Careful of what? Of getting burned.
hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. So, are you gonna invite me in? Or what? I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. <laughs> Thanks. Damn, you've been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A rainbow towel? A freaky red light? Holy shit. The all-seeing eye. <laughs> Figured it can't hurt to have the Illuminati on our side for whenever shit goes down. Always thinking ahead. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. That's the hope. But it doesn't exactly drive yet. You'll figure it out. And while you're at it, we're also gonna need some money. <laughs> you know, to buy stuff. Uh-huh. Car and money? <laughs> Anything else you'd like? Luckily, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually suspended you. Really? I'd say it's like the most believable thing that's ever happened to anyone in the history of forever. I'm just so pissed about the play. How could they let Victoria Chase jack your role? Because life is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Yeah, totally. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. Rachel, that was more than pretty wild. You went absolutely nuts last night. What the hell were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But now you're in on it too. Accessory after the fact. Unless you tell on me. Of course. I'm no snitch. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Well, Doc. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks... <sighs> he's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm. That's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. All right. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? He's a uh, step douche. Because he's inserting himself where he doesn't belong. Also, he's a douche. Poetic. May I also suggest stepladder? Why stepladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. Ew! And pretty soon, they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. I've been booted from school, and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it.
You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? No. I mean how to express my feelings of intense joy. Uh-huh. Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? You tell me. I'd say I'm exceptionally well-adjusted. I'd bet my therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> Touché, Doc. So, my new friend, who everyone thinks is perfect, did something batshit fucking nutso last night. What do I do? This perfect friend of yours, who I'm assuming is also an exceptional beauty, sounds like she may have been inspired by someone new in her life. Perhaps this friend of yours, who, I reiterate, must be just stunning, needed someone in her life to teach her. How to break into a viewfinder? How not to give a fuck. Because she was tired of having to give so many fucks all the time. That... makes sense. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Of course. When you think about it, getting suspended from the play is a good thing. You don't have to wear that silly costume and prance around stage like an idiot. Maybe I like prancing around stage like an idiot. Do you think... There's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore. You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? You couldn't be like him even if you wanted to. You're too awesome. The fact that you believe that makes me feel better. Shit, it's playtime. Gotta go clean out my dressing room for Victoria. Not exactly the role I thought I'd be playing tonight. Oh well. Hey. I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Something criminal? Criminally fun. <laughs> I'm in. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. Hello, Junk Shack. That's more ghosts, more ghouls, and more things that go bump in the night. Sweet dreams, Arcadia Bay. <laughs> A bag full of clothes. Yes, I need those. Oh, 
<laughs> Nothing like an abandoned shaft in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. It's important to mark my territory for all future Junk Shack visitors. It's time to talk about the elephant in the room. This elephant fucking rules. Frank's outside. I should get going if I'm done changing. That 
that's the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. Weird. Yo, Frank, it's Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password drugs? Price, get your ass in here. Dude, it smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that look up? Yeah, jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. Now I'm fetching things for Frank. How low can I go? People leave their info when they damage someone's car. Ugh, gross. Bomb sauce for the man who enjoys searing pain with his drive through order. <laughs> what does Frank really need to remember? Got it. Apparently, Frank is a werewolf. Part of a balanced breakfast. I guess Frank subscribes to the hiding in plain sight philosophy of drug stashing. Do I really want to see Frank's bedroom? Okay, little guy. Oh shit! Pompadou, get up here! Pompadou? You little killer. A throne fit for... Frank. Someone's a messy eater. Frank and his BFF. That's adorable. Wow. That pillow is definitely dead. A swingy, flippy instrument of death. Is this what I think it is? Ah, oh, shit. I'm in the red. Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. Bomb sauce. For the man who enjoys searing pain his drive through order. Wonder what Frank eats when he gets the munchies. Bomb sauce for the man who enjoys searing pain with his drive through order. That's an insane amount of beans. Poor Frank. Next time, try Ask Miss Arcadia. Ah, oh, man. 
Rachel the therapist would have a field day with this. Jeez, that's an expensive dog. Fight the power. So Frank's a fellow survivor of Black Hell. Who knew? Oh, man. I hope Argus and Bowser are okay. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadour, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. It's French. Does it mean, like, tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? Okay, so, who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. Dude, I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. Frank, you know I hate everyone. Who do you think I'm gonna tell? Come on, Price. I gotta protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. Hey, so, uh, I had this dream the other night about a cloud that swallowed Arcadia Bay. You too? See? We're a lot alike, Frank. We've got shit in common. Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? Come on, Frank. This is Arcadia Bay. Gossip is all we have to keep us from hanging ourselves out of boredom. I don't know. Frank. Talk. And I'll get my mom to make you something special. Like what? Uh... How about that firehouse chili of hers? You, you got it. The woman you saw. Her name's Sarah. Showed up a few weeks ago, causing all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. Like who? It's a little out of your league, okay? But what kind of trouble exactly? Forget about it, Chloe. Shouldn't have opened my mouth. Thanks for telling me. Whatever. You hear the mill burn down? Yeah. I uh, heard some stuff about it crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. Money from what? Well, he's always had a few things going on. I help him out with some of them. Don't drown me in the details, Frank. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. Is this about the buck 75? What? The money that I owe you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't give a shit about that. Wait, do you have it? Give me like another week. I don't have enough right now. I wonder if I'll ever get tired of your crap. You're lucky you're the least of my problems.
Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? Yeah, he's... Holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with him? Uh, he's an unreliable douchebag. Nah, this is the first time he's done this. Kid's actually smart. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Yeah, of course, but what's in it for me? Idiot, you still owe me. So, if I do this, then we're good? That, and I'll do even better. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I, I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got suspended this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on canvas than for me. If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, R Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal. <laughs>